Looking at a very different product today, what we have is the CM Storm SF19 laptop cooler. Now, as a lot of gamers with laptops will know, they tend to get pretty hot, especially when you're shoving in high-powered video cards, high-powered CPUs, and all of the other accessories. So a laptop cooler is intended to hopefully keep those temperatures under control. The SF19 is meant for high performance gaming notebooks because as you're going to see, it packs a little more punch than your average cooler. The SF19 may be a bit expensive with an MSRP of $89.99, but you're getting one incredibly powerful cooler with a wide range of features. Let's check them out. We have the USB 3 model which has four USB ports and then an adapter to connect back into the laptop. You can tell Cooler Master intends for this to be primarily used with desktop replacement systems because you can see the cable slots all throughout the rubber on the sides of the cooler. Now another cool feature of the SF19 is its LED function. Now while this may not be something you're going to use at home, if you're taking your gaming notebook to a LAN party or something, it's going to kind of add a little cool effect to your rig. Underneath we have the LED bars as well as the rubber feet which help to not only stay in place but at the back there's a good half inch of room for it to sit on an incline so there's air that can get underneath. As well up at the top there's a convenient handle for you to take it around if you're packing it to LAN parties or whatnot. And then obviously underneath we have a removable section where we can get at the fans. Underneath there are 240 millimeter fans which spin from 1200 up to 2600 RPM depending on what you set them as. And you can use this convenient little clip system to take them out and readjust how the fans would sit on the bottom grate piece. The other thing is that these can be installed with 120 millimeter fans as they do support them. And you can just clip them really wherever you want depending on what notebook you may be using on the top. The one thing that I felt was missing with this is there actually is no mesh and these holes are fairly large. So your intake port at the bottom is probably going to get a little dusty. I figured it wouldn't be fair to test this king of coolers on anything less than the king of gaming notebooks. So we brought out the Asus G73 with its Core i7 quad CPU, 8GB of memory and 5800 series graphics card. Now it wouldn't really be fair if we just played Pong on this thing, so for our extreme cooling test we fired up 8 instances of Prime 95 to put 100% load on the CPU, and for our video card stress test we used Furmark. Without the cooler our laptop got pretty toasty, the hottest core of the CPU reached 83 degrees Celsius and the 5870 a blistering 106 degrees. However, after we fired up the SF19 and reran the test, the CPU hit a peak of 67 degrees and averaged just around 60. For the most part, that's over 20 degrees cooler. Our PCH chipset also dropped by 15 degrees. The 5870 didn't quite experience the same drastic drop, but it did manage to stay under that 100 degrees Celsius mark, topping out at 99. Heat is arguably one of the more prominent killers of notebooks, and you can see with our short demo exactly why that is. Pairing your notebook with a cooler such as the SF19 is not only bound to increase the longevity of your system, but it's also likely to help improve your frame rates because you aren't going to get performance throttling due to high temperatures. There really isn't much more to say about Cooler Master's Strikeforce 19 laptop cooler. If you're a gamer with a gaming notebook or just one that can't seem to get heat under control, this is about the most serious beast available and you owe it to yourself and your laptop to keep things cool. Thanks for checking us out and plenty more product reviews and tidbits on our channel.